Machinists set up and operate a variety of computer controlled and mechanically controlled tools to build metal parts. In this video, we're gonna go over what machinists do, the job market for machinists, how much money they make, and we'll go over the top five metro areas for machinists. Coming up. Hey everybody, my name is Stephen Hack, and this is Career Watch, a YouTube channel focused on bringing you the latest, most up-to-date statistics on different careers. We have weekly videos on job statistics, salary statistics, and other general career information. And if you enjoy this video, support this channel by giving it a like. Machinists use machine tools such as lathes, milling machines, and grinders to produce precision metal parts. Many machinists must be able to use both manual and CNC machinery. CNC machines control the cutting tool speed and do all necessary cuts to create a part. The machinist determines the cutting path, the speed of the cut, and the feed rate by programming instructions into the CNC machine. Machinists create a wide variety of metal parts including steel bolts, titanium bone screws, hydraulic parts, anti-lock brakes, and automobile pistons. After creating the parts, machinists sometimes will present them to customers and make modifications as needed. Machinists work in a couple different settings. 22% work in machine shops, 20% work in machine manufacturing, 12% work in transportation equipment manufacturing, 5% work in employment services, and 3% work for merchant wholesalers. Next, let's take a look at the national job market for machinists. Over the past 20 years, machinists have had a lot of job volatility. In the year 1999, there were 419,800 machinist jobs. By 2004, the number of machinist jobs fell to 361,280 jobs. And then you have this general job volatility that continued all the way to 2018. By 2018, the government recorded 384,350 jobs for machinists. This means there are 35,450 less jobs in 2018 than there were in 1999. The total number of jobs is lower than in the late 90s and around 2008. But the number of jobs in 2018 is higher than 2017, so that is good news. Next, let's take a look at the unemployment rate for machinists. 2009 was the absolute worst year for machinists over the past 20 years. Unemployment spiked to 11.1%. This year was in the midst of the Great Recession. The second worst year was in 2002, where unemployment spiked to 6.4%. Recently, things have been looking up for machinists. The unemployment rate was recorded at around 2% in 2018, which is a 20-year low. So there has been quite a bit of job volatility for machinists over the past 20 years. Job growth has been somewhat limited. The next question is, will this continue? Next, let's take a look at the government job forecasts for machinists. Despite the job volatility, the government is slightly optimistic regarding machinist jobs. The government is estimating a gain of 3% of jobs for machinists from 2018 to 2028. The average occupation, on the other hand, is expected to rise by 5%, but 3% is pretty good given the past 20 years. Next, let's take a look at what kind of money machinists earn nationally. In 1999, the average machinist was making, on average, $30,540. By the year 2018, the average wage had risen to $45,250. So wages rose for machinists by $44,520, over a period of 20 years. Finally, let's explore which metro areas are best for machinists. The average wage is around $45,000 per year, but certain areas of the country pay more than this. Also, certain areas of the country have a lot of jobs and certain area of the areas of the country have not so many jobs for machinists. So here are, in my opinion, the five best areas for machinists. This list considers cost of living, number of jobs, and the average wage. Let's take a look. Number five on this list is the Detroit, Michigan metro area. In Detroit, there are over 12,000 jobs for machinists, one of the best job places in the country for mach machinists. The average wage is a little below average, but it's offset by the fact that Detroit, Michigan is an extremely cheap place to live. Number four on this list is the Seattle, Washington metro area. There's not nearly as many jobs as in Detroit. There's about 6,700, but the Seattle average wage is $54,750, which is almost $10,000 above the national average, but the Seattle, Washington metro area is not a cheap place to live. Number three on this list is the Houston, Texas metro area. There's over 10,000 jobs for machinists in Houston, which is not quite at Detroit's level, but it's above Seattle. Also the Houston average wage is $50,210, and Houston is probably much cheaper than Seattle. Number two on this list is the Cincinnati, Ohio metro area. There's about 5,000 jobs in Cincinnati, and the average wage is $50,480, which is $5,000 above the national average. And number one on this list is the Minneapolis, Minnesota metro area. There's over 9,000 jobs, so not quite at Detroit's level, but still a very healthy amount of jobs in Minneapolis. 
and the average wage is $51,610, which is over $6,000 above the average wage. Minneapolis is also a pretty affordable place to live. Are you interested in becoming a machinist? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you next time.